So say you get a question about ultrasound physics on your oral exam. So let's cover a little information about ultrasound and how it works. So simply, let's first discuss if you were asked, how does an ultrasound transducer work? Now, how does the speed of sound differ in different materials? How is that ultrasound image actually made? Describe the Doppler effect and then draw the Fresnel zone, convergent point, far zone and dead zone of the transducer. So to begin with, very basic, how does an ultrasound transducer work? So ultimately, high level, it takes electric signals and converts those to mechanical signals. So they rely on piezoelectric crystals to make sound pressure waves at different frequencies. So we're looking at the three to seven megahertz frequencies here. And the crystal is normally lead zirconate titanate. And so essentially, when it feels pressure, it converts that to an electric signal. That is how the transducer works. And that is how you get your electrical signal. So how does the speed of sound differ in various materials? So this all depends on acoustic impedance. And that is given by Z. And that is the equation for acoustic impedance is rho times C, where rho is the density and C is the speed of sound in medium. So in tissue, it, it would be good to memorize some, and I'm sure you did for part two, you had to memorize a lot of these, but, or even part, maybe more of part one, but part one, part two, you probably memorize that it's 1540 meters per second in tissue. And you also want to remember that the reflection and transmission is equal to one. And also if the acoustic impedances are too different between different materials, then you're going to get total reflection. So now how is an ultrasound image made? So essentially, if you know the speed of sound when we send out the fan beam of waves, you know the time it takes to return, then you can determine what the distance is. So a slice is reconstructed with B mode, which associates a brightness to a signal strength. Now, Doppler effect plays into how the image is made as well. So high level, that's how an ultrasound image is made. I would say that is really probably what you need to know for the exam. Don't go too far into the weeds. You're a therapeutic medical physicist, right? Not a diagnostic. But the Doppler effect essentially measures the speed of objects moving, and that's the Doppler ultrasound. So the frequency of the wave increases if the if it's moving toward and vice versa. Typically, or not typically, just straight up, what this equation is, the Doppler effect, the change in frequency is two times the initial frequency multiplied by the velocity, all divided by the speed of sound. So now draw the Fresnel zone, convergent point, far zone, and dead zone. So remember, with the online oral exams now, you have your whiteboard and they very well may ask you, hey, I want you to draw an equation. I want you to make a figure. I want you to draw your own, whatever it may be. So in this case, I think it's a very fair question for them to say, draw a transducer and draw what these points are. And that's what we're going to do. So to begin with, here's my transducer. Thankfully, they are not measuring you on your ability to draw as you shouldn't mine either, hopefully. And so this is a rough approximation of what you're going to see. Here is a transducer. Now, right off the bat, close to the transducer, this is the Fresnel zone. Then we have our converging point or convergent point here. And that's where you see the two, the waves, converge into a point kind of makes sense, right? And then of course, thankfully, far zone is pretty intuitive. So the Fresnel zone is the near field and that's the converging beams from the transducer and what ultimately leads to the best images. The converging point is truly the best resolution that you're going to have. And in the far zone, the beam starts to diverge 
and the image is more degraded. So the dead time is similarly to other dead times that we know is a time that it takes a transducer to stop ringing and is part in front of the transducer with no signal. So there is a dead zone right in front of the, the transducer where you're just not going to get signal and that's why. So very basic ultrasound information here, but I think some that are good for you to know. So read up on ultrasound, don't go far too into the weeds, but they very well may end up asking some type of ultrasound question on your oral exam. So it's best to research the topic and know the basic information. If you have any question about ultrasound or the exam in general, please comment below. I will happy to help in any way I can. Thank you for watching and happy studying.